workfellows coming up very soon. Um, I just want to advertise an event with me that's happening tomorrow. It's a MacLuber event and it will be at the uh, University of Leeds student encampment at 4 o'clock tomorrow. Thank you everybody. Well done. Everyone will be in the spot tonight. I first want to set the scene and give context first. Palestinians used to live in harmony, including Palestinian Muslims, Palestinian Christians, and Palestinian Jews. Especially at Masjid al Aqsa. 76 years ago, the Zionist settler colonial project started, where they illegally expelled 750,000 Palestinians. And this is including my own parents. They murdered over 15,000 people during the Nakba. These Zionist guns have now transformed into the idea of Iowa, as they have been indoctrinated with the racist Zionist ideology. They have been treated all and terribly, as the old Orthodox Jews put against the genocide. And they make the Ethiopian Jews infertile, as they are not of the right race. Israel is an illegal settler colony on stolen coast of Iran. They also want to get for us for 49 of the Geneva Convention. So they disregard every single person, it's national law and everybody. And after every attack they do, anti-Semitism and Islamophobia can go and open the rise. And so it doesn't benefit anybody in, in both states or outside. And I hope that we are not connected with reality. As we are, we are all family. When the family is lost in Palestine, they say us that the government is lost in the world. And where I come from Azza, you know Azza, there's an Arab for Shaja'iyya, and they've leveled it completely to the ground. When you go there, there's nothing to see but debris. And I would like the Prime Minister of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, to come and give a precise and spoken word that I summarizes the, what they've been doing uh, since 1948. So in 1948 came the terrorist state. They did that acceptable for seven decades, treating the indigenous with hostility, causing so many atrocities, like a message that up front on sacred days, they promised steel bullets and stone grenades, and denied them emergency medical aid. They trapped Gaza in an open air prison, where Israel fights rockets that strike with precision. Now they are faced with forced eviction, it's the ethnic cleansing of native civilians. All this because we are Palestinians. We are talking about genocide between colonizer and colonized. We are clearly not to equal sides. The military power is for the guns and knives. It's the mainstream media that manipulates minds. Hundreds, thousands, innocents dead. These are numbers, these are lies. The sons, daughters, fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, husbands and wives. These are numbers, these are lies. So what happened to the basic human rights? Mm -hmm. Our last Edwin spoke mm -hmm. word that talks about recent times. How would you have mm -hmm. acted to a atrocity past? We are in history right now. Like slavery in America and apartheid South Africa, the genocide in Palestine is a textbook answer. It's not possible to lose hope, but freedom's on the horizon. Other Palestinians are living on the homeland, with babies, children, mothers and fathers, having to be paid that we cannot bear to imagine. When they're starving to death, the media says, the occupant player has the way to stop you dead. They are unstoppable. I will not see you dead. You are treated like animals, but animals are treated better. It's not the eyes that are is blind, it is the heart. And it is easy to see now who is right and who is wrong, who is corrupt and who is compassionate. We are the people and we will be silent. We stand for justice and we take action. We are the voice for the voiceless. We are the voice for the voiceless, speaking out against political leaders. We are the voice for the voiceless, breaking the veil on the public eye. 
We are the voice from voiceless. Girls can teach strength as the heroes. We don't pay the price to kill the priceless. Boycott has lost them billions of profits. The protest is the largest that the wolves have ever seen. Protest supporters are in every single country and nation. Shut down Zionism and occupation. Palestine will be free in our generation. We will free Palestine in our generation. Thank you. around the world have shaken the imperialist powers to their core. And do you think that we're going to stop anytime soon? Oh! At Leeds Uni, after a massive two-week-long occupation of the Parkinson mm -hmm. building, we have joined the international student movement and camp has already stuck in 12 days. Oh! And we haven't just taken over buildings, roads and our campuses. We've got the unions on side as well. I'm proud to say the RMT have given us three hundred pounds for the occupation. As soon as women and women have given us three hundred pounds as well. As soon as women and women have given us three hundred pounds as soon as women and women have given us three hundred pounds as well. Just yesterday, we held just a regular hour. 
Palestinian cause. And back home we continue to campaign for the Palestinian people, forming part of a wide movement of Irish people from all corners of the country, north, south, east and west, Dublin, Belfast, Cork and Galway, who are taken to the streets each and every week to demand an immediate end to Israeli aggression in Palestine and for the right of the Palestinian people to their own land and freedom. You are the biggest Sharmuka going on there. You are the Sharmuka. This month, Irigi have focused on highlighting the issue of Palestinian political prisoners. The thousands of men, women and children who are currently held by the Israeli regime, often without charge or trial. Shame. No, Papa Smith, be quiet. This campaign was launched to coincide with the 43rd anniversary of the death of Bobby Sands on May 5th. As we gathered across Ireland to remember perhaps our best known political prisoners, it seems fitting to remember the plight of all those detained for no greater crime than being Palestinian. And for, me, and for being native to the land that terrorists have stolen and seek to hold at the point of a gun. So every May we remember Bobby Sands and his comrades on the 1981 hunger strike. But May also brings another significant anniversary. This coming Wednesday is Nakba Day, the 76th anniversary of the Nakba or catastrophe. During this period in 1948, over 700,000 Palestinians were expelled from their homes murdered and massacred, or forced to flee their homeland in terror. Hundreds of towns and villages were destroyed, often renamed with Hebrew names. This was ethnic cleansing on a mass scale. This was the birth of the state of Israel, a state that was founded upon, built upon, and has been maintained to this day by terrorism. But when those who would call themselves Israeli terrorized those poor Palestinians into exile and kept those that remained under a brutal occupation, they did not defeat them. No. In his prison diary, Bobby Sands quoted an old Mexican proverb that he found fitting for the Irish struggle for freedom, which I think fits the victims of the Nakba just as well. They tried to bury us. They didn't know we were seeds. But we the force of the evil commander in our own army in the other They cast seeds. And those seeds have part of ground. And we can see them growing all around us. Growing into a movement that will not lie down. You are all part of this movement. And while this movement exists, Palestine will never be defeated. The Palestine demand the right of return for those forced to flee their homes and not stop until we see a free Palestine. Pressure your politicians. Pressure the British government to the terrorist That's what we can't save lives in the can't save lives either. For the against the 
And I remember the people of Palestine when I speak Bobby's own words and I said, Shut it all off. Our day will come. Shut it all off. Yeah. Thank you very much. And free Palestine. It must be yeah. 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 Saturday, I could understand, but it was a Wednesday, and I don't think it would have been busy. So that must be the end. Let's see if it all kicks off. Yeah, yeah they'll have gone. That's why she was taking the time I thought, quite good to go.
Oh, I guess you used to be a drilling instructor. <laughs> 